Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally going to announce where I'm going to be fishing in 2023. So uh, before we get to that announcement, we needed to talk about what the options were as far as, uh, you know, tournament circuits to fish for 2023. And then we'll talk about, you know, uh, where I decided to land. Um, first off, you had uh, the MLF Pro Circuit now kind of turned into the um, Invitationals. So that announcement was recently made. Um, and of course, the, the Pro Circuit used to be the FLW Tour. Then MLF bought FLW and turned it into the MLF Pro Circuit. And so it was kind of a weird thing going on because they had the Pro Circuit, which was a, a tour level, uh, five fish limit uh, tournament trail. And then you had the BPT um, that was, you know, every fish counts. And so they were both living under the same umbrella, both a tour level uh, a series. And uh, so that happened for a few years. And then this year they finally announced that they're going to kind of get rid of the pro circuit and then, um, you know, introduce the new invitationals, which are very similar to the, uh, the, um, the pro circuit in that it's a six tournament series, still, you know, high entry fees. So tour level entry fees, $5,000 per tournament. Um, and the paybacks are very reminiscent of a tour level circuit. So you get $10,000 checks fairly deep down like 30th place. It's 150 boat field, you know, so very similar in that respect, but less exposure and no championship. So that is what the invitationals are. I got my invitation to the invitationals about a month ago. And so that was an option. Um, and and uh, then you have the MPFL circuit, which I don't know a whole lot of. I know that they have $6,000 entry fees. Those are pretty high. Uh, and they've got a, a somewhat tour level payback scale, and th but they also have a championship too. So th that one really wasn't one that I, I, I played around with at all, um, but uh, that's definitely an option for a lot of guys, and a lot of guys are going that route, and, th and people seem to be happy there. So, and then there's another circuit that that got introduced that um, I think is called American Bass Club. It just recently came out. I started hearing some things about it. Uh, I don't know a lot of details on that. I think they have kind of like a, a a entry fee between the like the Opens or the Toyota Series and you know a tour level or invitational, you know, uh, size uh, payout structure or not payout structure, but um, uh, uh, entry fee structure and probably payout structure too, but I haven't seen that. But so you've got that one, but the, really it was, it came down to between the invitationals and the Bassmaster Opens. Now, I will say the Bassmaster Opens have really haven't been on my radar for the last four years. I've been fishing, you know, the the tour level with the Pro Circuit, where I could make really good money. You know, make those ten thousand dollar plus checks, and when you get like a, a top ten, you're really making some money, uh, and you get good exposure. and uh, And so I've uh, I've been very happy with with the Pro Circuit and where I've been with MLF. Um, and the Opens, the reason why I haven't really Really given the opens that much thought during the last four years is just because man the the cost uh, associated with that is is so high the expenses are still the same you know the entry fees are definitely lower on the opens but you know you're still paying the same amount if not more for for gas and for lodging and things like that and the the payouts just are are much much more withdrawn than than uh, you know I saw on the pro circuit so it just didn't make sense as far as the dollars and cents um, and the only reason that I'd, I, I, I would want to fish the opens is to qualify for the elites and the, uh, the, the classic. Um, and uh, obviously the fishing the elite series in the classic is, has been a dream of mine for a long time. And, uh, and so that is definitely of interest to me, but when they were only accepting three anglers per division out of like 225 anglers, it just never really made that much sense to me. Um, and, uh, in recent years they started doing like the combined, uh, points total. So like they give three spots to the, the, the best in the overall 
all points. Um, still, that's very, very low numbers, um, you know, and, and the, pers you know, the, the odds of you making the Elite Series are much, much lower under that structure. However, this year in July, uh, Bassmaster announced the new Opens EQ, which stands for Elite Series Qualification. And so essentially what they did is they got away with the, the, the uh, you know, top three in each division, and now they just are, are uh, giving nine spots to just the anglers that are fishing the EQ, which is all nine Opens for the year. And when they announced that the numbers started to make way more sense and I and I really started to think about you know fishing the opens uh, you know way more than I have than in recent years it just started to make more sense so I, I went into iCast this year kind of you know seeing what what my my partners think what my sponsors think about uh, possibly making the move and uh, and honestly it was a it was a great response overall and and uh, I'm very appreciate appreciative of them for for wanting to stick with me if I wanted to take that route and so once you know uh, things started to make sense <clears throat> from the business side uh, and they definitely made sense as far as the numbers uh, for qualifying for the elite series um, I made the decision that in 2023, I'm gonna fish the Bassmaster Opens in the EQ. So that is the big announcement. I'm going back to bass and man, I, I really, uh, couldn't be happier with that decision. Yes, uh, I'm going to really, really miss you know the the group of anglers and the the crew with MLF. I've been fishing you know FLW since 2006 or seven, and the majority of my tournaments I have 93 tournaments under my belt with that organization, which is now MLF. And so that that group of people. I, I just, I'm so thankful that I've been able to, to fish with them at their, their top level on the pro circuit. And, um, and it's afforded me a lot of great opportunities. I've been able to grow with the, the sport and uh, really make a good solid living and promote my sponsors uh, over the last few years. I mean, heck, I bought a 17 acre property here in Eastern Tennessee because of those opportunities that, that I saw on the pro circuit. So uh, couldn't be more thankful for MLF and, uh, and the pro circuit, but um, my sights and my goals ever since I was a kid was to fish the Elite Series, fish the Bassmaster circuit, and make the Bassmaster Classic and hold up a blue, a blue trophy and also that Classic trophy. Those, those are very, very important um, you know, uh, milestones and, and goals goals for me and uh, and so you know I'm 36 I really need to start making moves that that are are based on long-term goals and so when they announced the EQ it, it really just made perfect sense to me and I knew that the time it was right and this was actually before they even announced that the uh, that they were going to change the pro circuit into the invitational so this was something that was that was uh, you know I had decided back in in pretty much July or August um, is, is when I, uh, you know, uh, first started really th thinking about it. And I didn't want to make the announcement until I actually got into the Opens because I know that there's a lot of guys that are going to do the same thing. Um, you know, switching from from the what was the pro circuit over to the uh, the um, uh, Bassmaster Opens and also the BPT too, and I'm sure that it's going to be vice versa as well. Um, and uh, and I I really hope that that uh, you know Major League Fishing uh, continues to, to to have a lot of great success. I'll continue to fish you know the Toyota Series and the and the BFLs. Those are great tournaments. Um, but uh, it's definitely, you know, I'm definitely focusing on making the elites and in uh, the classic, and you have to do that through the open. So that's where we're going to be fishing. And I will say this: one of the things that really factored into this decision wasn't just, you know, what circuit I wanted to fish to make the most amount of money. That's that that really wasn't as big of a decision as the fact that I've got a, a another big announcement, if you guys haven't heard, is I've got a baby on the way. Uh, uh, my wife Katie and I were, were having a baby girl due in April, and 
One thing that I've been thinking about recently is the Pro Circuit. <clears throat> you know, when I first started fishing, we had the FLW Cup. Uh, so my rookie season, I made the Cup, and that was the very last FLW Cup. Uh, and it, at that event, uh, if you haven't been to a cup, it's it's it reminiscent of a Bassmaster Classic. It's not quite as big, but it 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 has a similar pageantry to it. And when we when I qualified for it, they had a red carpet gala. Uh, they had a big you know dinner, and and uh, and I was able to share that experience with some of my family and my mom. And she, my mom got to see her boy accomplish you know one of his his lifelong dreams. Uh, being on that big stage and that was right before she passed away later that year and that that tournament made me realize that 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 events like that are very special because they not only give the angler an opportunity to showcase themselves and to make you know to win big money but also it those events give your family and your friends more equity in the sport because our families are sacrificing a lot for for us to go fish these circuits we're away from home a long time and and uh, it's it, there's a lot of sacrifices that happen at home and to have an event that shows your family this is why we're a fishing family. This is why we do it, <clears throat> and uh, and you know give them kind of ownership of of the sport. That can't be understated. And really, to me, the classic does that the best out of uh, out of any championship that we have currently. <clears throat> and so, with a baby girl on the way. I want to be able to years, you know, hopefully not that many years down the line, but years down the line, I want to be able to, to bring her to the classic, show her why daddy's going to be, you know, away from home for, for the year and show them the value and the scope of the sport. So that really played big into this decision overall. Again, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've loved fishing with MLF, but I'm really, really looking forward to fishing the Opens with my eye at the, the Elite Series and the Classic. So those, that's, that is the big announcement. That's where I'm going to be fishing. I couldn't be more excited. And uh, again, I'm just so thankful that my sponsors uh, are going to be uh, remaining, you know, very supportive through this, this move over to the Opens because, you know, in the end, it's kind of a step down, but we have a greater um, we have a greater goal in mind, and uh, and I'm just very thankful that they they would want to continue to support me during that move. So, anyways, guys. Um, let me know what you think about my decision in the comments below. Uh, I really want to hear what your perspective is. Do you think I'm making the right move? Do you think I'm, I'm making a foolish move? I'd like to hear all of that down in the comments below. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching these videos. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water and on the Bassmaster Trail, the Opens in 2023.